Hello, my name is Ivan Taylor, and today I would like to show you a computer program developed by my team at Policy Dynamics. You might find this program useful to help you reach your diversity goals in your organization. Policy Dynamics builds computer programs using a theory called system dynamics. People like us who use system dynamics are often called modelers, and our pro computer programs are called models. System dynamics models can be used to inform decision makers about the long-term consequences of their decisions. And in the long-term, system dynamics modelers would like to help make the world a better place. For more information about system dynamics, check out systemdynamics.org. The model I would like to show you today considers a simplified community containing a minority of interests in a simplified organization made up of workers and managers. It helps you determine the current level of diversity in your organization compared to the community around you. Then you can interact with the model to gain insight into how to reach your diversity goals in the desired amount of time. First, you need to describe your community in a general way and specify the size of the minority population you're hoping to represent. Then you need to specify the percent of the populations with the qualifications you're interested in and specify the percent of these qualified people interested in applying for an entry level job in your organization. Then you need to describe your organization by specifying its initial level of diversity in terms of workers and managers. And you need to describe some characteristics of your organization, like the average career length of employees and the average time it takes to hire and promote employees. You can also specify if your company might be expanding, staying the same, or downsizing. In the next two pages, we will examine possible bias in the hiring and promoting processes. The concepts are similar, with bias in the hiring process applying to applicants outside your organization, and bias in the promoting process applying to workers inside your organization. There are two types of bias we consider in the model. Systemic bias that might be embedded in the scoring system of the interviews and the examinations for applicants seeking a job or workers seeking a promotion. There are three options for systemic bias towards the minority, no bias, and against the minority. There are two types of internalized bias. First, there is general interest in your organization by potential applicants, which you defined when you described the community. There is also general interest in management positions by workers in your organization, which you define here as a percent of the worker population. Second, there is a type of internalized bias based on the current level of diversity in your organization. This could be based on the perception of applicants seeking a job or a promotion on the likelihood of success if they apply, or it could be based on a perception of the amount of inclusiveness in your organization if they are hired or promoted. There are three options for this type of internalized bias. Towards the minority, encouraging people to apply, no bias, or against the minority, discouraging people from applying. This internalized bias is important because you can't hire or promote people who don't apply. Once you have defined your community, your organization, and any bias in the hiring and promoting processes, you can run the model. This graph shows the level of diversity in your organization compared to the community and how it changes over the next 20 years. The good news is that the level of diversity among workers and managers will naturally improve if the system is unbiased. The bad news is it may take a long time to reach your diversity goals because the model assumes 
that you only hire or promote people if there is an opening to fill. Let's play with some of the options. Let's consider the effect of bias in the hiring process. First, let's look at the impact of systemic bias against the minority. This leads to stagnation in the diversity level. Now let's look at impact on bias towards the minority. This leads to rapid gains in diversity. Let's return the systemic bias to neutral and consider internalized bias towards the minority encouraging them to apply for a job. This leads to gains in diversity compared to the base case, the, ba the, bi the no bias case, but not as much as the systemic bias towards the minority. Let's finally consider internalized bias against the minority, discouraging them from applying for a job. This slows the progress compared to the unbiased case, but there is still some gains, and there is much less negative impact than systemic bias against the minority. Here are, is the manager's graph. You can see the impact is in the same direction, but there is a delayed effect because they are only, we are only looking at bias in the hiring process and it takes time for changes in the diversity of the workers to impact the management team because new managers come from the worker population. Here we provide a dashboard with all of the options on one page. You can see the previous results for workers and managers. We will restore the model and rerun the unbiased case. Let's consider increasing the general interest in your organization by qualified minority people in the community. This leads to significant gains in worker diversity and gains in management diversity with a delayed reaction. Now let's consider increasing the general interest in promotion among the, work the workers from the minority. This leads to immediate gains in management diversity. You can see that there are many options you can experiment with in our model. We hope this model might give you insight into how to reach your diversity goals in your desired time. This model can be expanded to consider more minority groups and a more complex organization with sections and departments and levels of workers, supervisors, and managers. We hope that if you would like to apply this model to your particular organization in your specific community, you will reach out to us at Policy Dynamics and we will be very willing to help. We hope we have demonstrated the power of system dynamics modeling and we hope this model in a small way might help make the world a better place 